Hello and welcome back to one last episode of Open Scad. We make them fancy shapes and everything. Only today's episode is going to be kind of different. Because we're not going to be making fancy shapes. Because it's all about the animation. So we're going to be making our fancy shapes that we already made. Move around fancy ways. And do fancy stuff. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Let's go do it. Yay. Okay, so maybe we'll use some shapes other than the ones we started out with. But, that's that's later for project time. Now we gotta get going with what, how, how, how do we animate in a 3D modeler? It's like, it doesn't seem natural. Well, um, if I remember correctly, is it in design? No, it's in view. It's easy. Animate. You gotta animate. Click on that and you get this weird little thing down here that's like to give you the FPS and the steppers and stuff. So you can type that in and you get stuff. Yeah. I guess I should explain. So you animate. Let's just make something simple. Translate. Do do um so the way this works is you transmit you you put in your FPS let's say 30 and how many steps say 150 and that makes a little float you see down here I think you see do you see let's let's make this there see that there the flow variable, meaning it goes from 0 to 1 in increments that make it to where it takes 150 or whatever you put in your steps to make that. And to use that, you put your dollar sign T, and that makes an animation, and uh, er, it makes it animate. So you do stuff like we put in a cube, and where's my cube? Where's my cube? Mm -hmm. This is weird. This is really weird. Okay, zero. My cube's not working. Tr oh, translate. Translate. There we go. That works. 150. So now you see this cube is moving. It's moving very, very slowly and not very far. All of one millimeter, in fact. But it is moving. We have animation. It's working! Yay! But how do we use it in something that's practical and actually works? Let's see. We can multiply our dollar sign T by wherever we want it to end up. So let's say we want this cube to slide over 50 millimeters. Now it's going to slide at whatever rate you tell it to slide at down here in your FPS and your stepazes. And it's going to end up at 50 millimeters, and stop, and come back, and blink, see, see, you blink and you'll miss it, but it goes from like here, to here, and that's, that's basically how it works. You can also rotate to get funny things, in fact, you can get really funny things with rotate, so let's say we do dollar sign T times 90 here, then times 180 there. And then times 360 here, dollar, need, the, need the dollar sign T. And now we got this cube all going like, whoa, and then it goes back and then it turns into it's all weirdness. We can also, to accentuate that weirdness, translate, and then like move it over 14 or so, not 20. Why not 20? The cube's 20. We'll just move it 20. 20 do do do. And now it's, uh, see, see, watch. It goes zoom. 
and then it goes back, and then it goes up, oh, wait, no, no, I don't want to go back, and you, it's funny, I don't know why, but I think it's funny, but basically you can put any of these combinations together with your dollar sign T, we can even do this, dollar sign T times our translate and stuff, not dollar sign Y, that doesn't work. Dollar sign Y gets you to your computer, you go, why are you telling me to do this? It's not working. Now see, it starts out center and then it goes zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, that's about it. That's really about it. Although you can play around with these uh, numbers. Because remember, whatever the, um, whatever your FPS is the lower that is and the higher your number of steps the slower it's gonna be and also if you go anything below 15 it's not gonna be very smooth you see that that looks like it's moving kinda sort of we put it at 5 FPS it's like it's like a really fast slideshow not not necessarily very animated so I like I like to leave that at 30. That seems to be the standard of something. I don't know. And then like the steps. This is what you usually want to play around with if you want it to go faster or not. Because like you cut that in half, you get 75, and suddenly it's going a lot faster. We can cut that in a third, to 25, and it's like what do it do it do it do it do it it's so fast moving so fast or you can make that really slow and be like 500 and it's slow motion and it's just gonna take a long time to get around to where it's gotta be and stuff yes yeah, that's, that's that's about it <clears throat> Although, there's one other funny thing you can do. It's not not in exactly practical, but um, get rid of our rotate. You can actually use a dollar sign $t in a for loop. So let's do 4 x equals 8 with a step of dollar sign $t um, to 20. And then just get rid of all this complicated stuff and put in x, uh, let's say times 5, just so we can see it a little more. And, oh, eh. Might want to finish typing the for loop. Jeez, Patrick. Such, such an awesome idiot moment there. x equals, haha. -ha. Oh. And then you could put. Do, do, do. Where's the X key? There's the X key. And see? It's like an escalator. Aww. And then they get farther apart. And they get smaller and smaller. And you get rid of that times five. And it, it really messes with your computer, though. But it looks cool. See? It's all like... And then it gets really small again. And you get this thing that looks like a nice line. Yeah, I have yet to find any actual practical use for this in particular, but it's really cool. I like it. It's funny. It also makes my computer really, really laggy and slow and whatnot. Hmm. I guess that means we're ready for project time. Hmm, project time, what are we going to do, whoa, uh oh, uh oh, oh jeez, my computer doesn't like this, it's like no, look at this, it's even got glitching pixels over here, there's like a patch of purple pixels, oh wait, not, now they're, now they're yellowish. They're a weird yellowish. <laughs> oh, uh, slowly getting faster. Slowly. Very slow. Okay, I'm gonna stop this now before it breaks my computer. <laughs>
Okay. So, that's about all that it is to animation in OpenSCAD. It's not particularly difficult. I guess it can be kind of tricky to like, get it to move in a very specific way, but bleh, it's not too hard. So, I guess now it's project time. Hmm. What we do for project time? Oh, I forgot. I forgot something really important. So, in the middle of your animations, you notice here we got 150. Oh, Jesus. Times 10. There we go. That shouldn't slow my computer down too much. But up here in your parameters, or really anywhere, you can actually call dollar sign $t as a normal um, thing and just like make it 5. And no matter what you do, dollar sign $t is going to be 5. Although, I really recommend keeping it within the float. And that'll halt your animation so you can just like set it up at 1 and then figure out how you want it to all end up and it'll end up like that. That kind of looks cool, actually. Let's see, point one. Ooh. That's fun. Fancy. But that's about it. So, project time. Let's see, what are we going to do for project time? Let's... You know what, why don't I just show you guys how I make the intros to these? You know, since I stopped using PowerPoint, because that wasn't working. At least it was, it was working at first, and then it got all grainy and blech. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple seconds, and we'll make a quick version of one of the intros I use, or something like the intros I use on the OpenSCAD. Anyway, so you got a couple seconds. Bye. Bye. Alrighty. So it has been a couple milliseconds, I think. Alright, has it been a couple milliseconds? Oh, I'll know once I start editing. So, as you may have noticed in my intros and stuff, it's got words and words with letters in it. I am very sad to say I did not make those letters. I think I found them on um, Thingiverse, actually. But anyway, we have to import those using stuff we learned last time, so I'm going to include this, and it is write.scad, and to see when you type it, and um, I have to admit, that this is well beyond me what they did in write.scad. It's like some genius wrote it. I mind is blown with this. As it can like you can write on flat stuff or you can write on a cube or on a sphere and it's like this really impressive. I'll put a link to it down in the description. But anyway the one I use on the intros is, of course, the most simple and idiot-proof one. The right dot sked, you just do right, and you see, you type it like that, they got a D, and now a capital D, now R, maybe a derp. See? It's a derp. That, that that's really about it. So, but to animate it, animating it is where the pain of all pains of dull, boy, long. Uh, let's just say that it takes a long time to write these intros. <laughs> And I will show you why. So let's make module derp. So we will we will do something here. So now in the module, so we can just like get rid of it when we want to. 
we're going to derp and then open it up and here comes the revenge of the if statements I get to say if dollar sign t times however far I want these to end up apart say they're however far I want them to travel say I want them to travel 20 millimeters is less than where I want the first letter to end up uh, I'm gonna say five because we got five letters here then translate do to do by dollar sign T times 20 and zero zero and zero oh hi mom That was very sneaky of you. Mom's cooking fancy dinner. And she just snuck me in one of her mushrooms she'd make. And they're like sautéed and wine and everything. It's really excessively fancy. Anyway, what were we doing? We were... That's right, we were making derp slide across the screen. So, and then we got to write, write, and then just the first letter. Just one letter. No, where's, I need parenthesis, there we go. And now, it should, derp. Oh, here we go. There. But you see, oh, it disappeared. It was moving just fine, but it, it, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, jeez. I oh, like the gone. That's not good. That's not good at all. And now we come down here and we gotta close off the if statement and then else, which is basically the if this doesn't work, do this. We type in the same thing translate by instead of dollar sign t times 20. We have to figure out what this is going to end up at when this stops working. So whatever dollar sign t times 20 has to be when it equals 5. That means dollar sign t is cutting this into 4 pieces. So if dollar sign t equals 0.25. So wait a second. 0.25 times 20 equals 5. I am stupid, so stupid. I is. You can see how epically derpifying these are. They're just like, make you want to, I don't know, something. Really. So now, since it's all ifed, it moves and then stops. And then we just copy and paste. Got copy and paste and then do 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 and then erp. So now we have duh. Then we go and do our erp. Oh, uh, I missed. And then duh and then er, er and puh and puh. And then oh, hey, that's a problem. Another problem right there. All our letters are like overlapping. So now we go back and we change this. And we can do like that. And then we can do... A f Did I miss something? Wait, that's got to be 15. And then here we do like a 20. And then we get this. And it goes ding. Ding. Oh, it keeps going. Whoa, hey. Oh, that's right. And we got to change this letter to... And then this gotta be 15, this gotta be 20. Let me see, duh, er, duh, eh, er, puh, de erpa. See, see, that's how it works. You can also do this with rotates. I don't know if this will look very pretty, but we'll try it. Rotate, rotate, rotate. I'm going to copy and paste just so you guys can see what it looks like when you're rotating. Rotate, 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 rotate
Rotate to load. This is so much fun. Oh, it's rotating the wrong way. Yeah, but, um. So the rotates the way I did the first intro you see there. Only, I did it rotate around the Z axis. So, that was fast. Hmm. Well, let's. Let's undo those so we get back to our translate. Translate, translate, translate. And I want this to be a little prettier. So, four, listen, two, and two, and four, and four, and three, and three, and three. And three. And three and four and five and six and twenty nine ten eleven forty two four 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 four. It's like we're golfing. Jeez. Uh Okay, I'm gonna fix up this derp so it looks all pretty real quick. I'll see you guys in a couple seconds, because that, that's gonna annoy me. So, a couple seconds, and see you. Yeah. Okay, so we're back, and the derp looks pretty and readable, and without insanely long spaces. So now that that's all pretty and stuff, also, we got around the intros and whatnot. We have stuff like, like those little stars you saw in the cube in the middle. I like to call those module extra, cause they're like they're not really required. They're just kind of extra, and they look pretty though. I like them. So we make a module extra, and I guess I'll make stars. Hmm, yeah, yeah, sure. So I made the stars with a polygon, and then did polygon, polygon, points, 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 points equals, then, then, and then we just do stuff like the, Five com zero and then and then and then and then and then and then we then we do two comma two and then we do and then we do do comma five and then we do uh negative two comma two I think. I'm gonna close this off so I can see it as I build the polygon. Whoa. Polygon Polygon Polygon's hiding from me. Where are you, old Polygon? Oh, hey. Might want to make this a module extra. Ha ha. That's why. That's why it wasn't working. Because I was being stupid. Exactly. And then we do an 8 of 5, comma 0. And then we do something like... Negative, negative two, comma negative two, and then we do another one that's gonna be zero, comma negative five, and then we do another one, and this is gonna be um two, comma negative two, and it goes off. And hey, look at that! It's a store. It's very store-like. Store-like. Yep. And then we can just go around and make it all pretty and make like those ones so it's all sparklier and whatnot looks all twinkly and stuff. Whoa, whoa. And one. There we go. And then we can come in to animate it. Dollar sign T times five. And then we do another one here times five. And then. And the ta da da, and then and then, na 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 na. 
and you notice we start out with this and then it gets like rounded and stuff and then it ends up as a starry star in the sky and stuff yep yeah I can indent it and make it do fancy rotates so rotate and then uh, I guess dollar sign T times 180 comma dollar sign T times 360 yeah, when I'm rotating, I like to keep them as um, multiples of 90, just so I don't get weird, like, excessively weird rotates and stuff. And then 720 and stuff, and now we get, ooh, it's all spinny, and spinny, and pretty, and pretty, and spinny. Then control I, and then let's translate it. Translate by... Uh, five. That looks good. And see, it's all loop and the loop. It looks kind of funny though, because you go down on um, other stuff like this, and it's it looks really weird in th when you look at the third dimension of it. As you see it from above, which is how you see it in the videos, and it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty normal actually. Like it's all just spinning around center, but you go down here and it's all like whoa, 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 whoa. So that's basically how I do it. Pretty simple, not not too hard, not not incredibly impressive either. I have to admit, it just takes a long time to type out these long words like animation and get it all moving fancy and stuff it's just yeah so that's about it um this just makes happens to be in this case the last official episode of open scad cuz i can't really find anything else to cover i think we've gone over pretty much all of it and also, um, I'm working on the next series, which is decided to be Visual C Sharp. So we're going to be making little video games like, like Pong and probably something like Space Invaders. I should stop saying those words. They're probably copywritten. But that kind of stuff. That's going to be really fun. If you have any other suggestions for stuff to do in other series, leave it either here in comments or the discussion section works too. Um, I may do like a tips and tricks video if you guys are still confused on something or something or another. And probably going to have like a credits Although, since no one commented on if they want me to sing in the credits, I guess I'll have to wait on that. So, the credit music video stuff, I'm probably just going to grab one of the music tracks off YouTube itself and just not monetize that particular video. But for me singing, let me know. I may do it next one, but I just... Uh, not enough time to learn a whole song to convert it over to play on the uke because no one plays songs on a ukulele for some reason and that seems to be the only thing I can play without it really sounding terrible um but anyway so if you guys are still confused on something leave it in the comments if there's something you want me to go over like say a new program you're thinking would make a nice series or really anything just like leave it in the discussion section or in the comments here so you don't have to like go all out of your way and go to the channel and stuff because it's just so inconvenient I hate having to leave my videos especially like when you get in those marathons and you're just sitting there and you're like totally vegged out just clicking on links just because they have words on them <laughs> I'm sure everyone who watches YouTube has been there before. But that's about it. So, yeah. 
Is there anything you're confused on? I'll make a tips and tricks video later on. I guess I'll do a little credits. And then we'll be moving on to making video games. Yay! It's going to be fun. I right, got the first one all planned out and stuff. Oh, also, something else you may want to know. I recently got myself a GitHub account. And that means that everything you see on this channel, like all the projects, all the code stuff, that's all going to be on GitHub. Probably within like a couple days of it being uploaded to YouTube. Along with a couple other things, like like one of the projects I'm working on right now is actually like designing an electric car. Although, I have to admit I have very little progress on that. But for projects like that, you guys want to just like, get the code so you can work with what I already made for you. Feel free. Or you want to help out with those more ambitious projects. Um, once we actually start getting into interesting stuff on those projects, I think I'll get a camera and like record working on the project. Because I imagine that to be probably pretty interesting. But anyway, that, that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time over in Visual C Sharp. I think I'll start out with how to download it, because that's actually kind of confusing. Well, anyway, see you guys later. Bye. Bye. My voice is weird again. Bye. Bye. Bye everyone. I'll just make my voice really weird for this last open scat video. Uh, feels really weird. It's like my throat itself's moving back and forth in my my throat's moving in my throat. Does that make so much sense? Anyway, see you guys later. Bye. Uh, wow.